Welcome back to Life in Muskoka, episode six. Today, Joel and I are gonna be talking about religion versus relationship. Yeah, a lot of times when it comes to these these other religions, we hear about a higher power. We hear about, um, oh, he's just being up there and he knows we exist. But there's so many times where we can even look at the Bible or in people's lives where we can see God moving and just speaking pushing. And I love that. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I even find there's times in my own life where those things where God has given me, um, for example, when I was in university, I remember I really wanted to do this degree. Some stuff happened where I wasn't gonna get the degree actually, and I'm like, oh, I really want this, or like, I want this to be my career. Mm-hmm. The school said that if I don't meet these certain standards, and I missed one of the standards that I would have to drop out and do a different career. Yeah. I didn't do well, but I went to actually my professor, and he goes up to me and he says, you know what, you work very hard. I'm gonna change your milk and I'm gonna and I'm gonna let you go on to your next semester. But he basically said, I believe in you. Mm. And it was actually a career to do in media and stuff like that. And why I laugh is because now I'm actually I'm not even in media. Mm-hmm. But at the time I wanted to be. Sure. But that moment of, oh wow, I didn't even deserve it. Mm-hmm. And God, you did something, you spoke for your teacher and you gave me what I wanted. Yeah. He cares about the little things. Even though I wouldn't he knew I wouldn't end up in in media that I would actually be a counselor instead and be studying psychology. You know, it's in that personal way. And you know, like we can have friendships and you know, I wanna hang out with you and you wanna hang out with me, right? There's that Mm -hmm. natural gravity to people. And you know, I like to think of it like, heaven is sitting up there, like he's just sitting up there in heaven and he's like, she's gonna talk to me today. I wanna hear from her, I love my daughter, I love my son, you know? So I like to, I'm visual like that. And he created us like that to, to have that imagination and I think it's good to just explore that and just realize like he is sitting up there just anticipating heaven Mm -hmm. is so excited when you're just coming in and entering his presence and coming in as a daughter or son in love to just talk to your papa so good and you you hit on something really important coming as a daughter or son not coming as something oh I I did this checklist I read my bible Mm -hmm. I prayed I I waited on God and we had this whole checklist. Those things are good, it's not bad. But it's like he just wants he just wants you. And that's what friendship is. I don't hang out with my friends to be like, oh, I need to get something. Mm-hmm. It's like, I wanna know you. You know, even that there's like songs that talk about just getting to the depth and I wanna know you. I wanna yeah. know, you know, really it's like let that be your heart cry when you're just like, I want to know you. Yeah. I want you to pursue me and I wanna pursue you. He's jealous for us. He wants us. Mm-hmm. So when you know those scriptures and you see those things and you really just take that to heart, be like, He really loves me. Yeah. He really wants you know just fellowship and time with me and to just get to know him and vice versa because through that there's just such a good exchange of love and identity and all the things that are so necessary for us and i love to think of it too you know when it comes to healing like recovery is relational you know when we're going through something Mm -hmm. whatever that is it helps having people around and when you have the the king of kings and the lord of lords that's there with you recovery is relational so he's right there whether we have somebody with us or not to go through that dialogue with he's right there and he wants to talk to us and heaven wants us to partner for that healing for that thing in john 15 it says for i have no longer called you servants for servant does not know what his master is doing but i have called you friends Mm -hmm. and i and i I was thinking about that even this morning like wow right there in that passage it shows the difference between what a slave is versus a friend is slaves just obey that's right and friends obey too because we do obey like we do have to obey god yeah. but we can know in what love. god is doing yeah. in love you're right not not from that duty or yeah. like i have to but like, yeah. i want to yeah like i want to please you i want to please yes. your heart not like you know feeling like i'm i'm obligated to or i have to you know i i ran for for political office a few months ago and it was really in the process of that you know, realizing like God not only called me to it, but I was with him walking through it. And you know, I had friends years later or like years before that had ran for office and they strived and they worked and they worked and they worked because the Lord called them to it. And it took like 10 hours a day of their time where like I would go out and it was like two, three hours, but it was favor. He was with me. He was guiding me, go to this door, knock on this door, smile here, say this there, you know? So when you're in that relationship with him and you're flowing with him as a friend, as a daughter, as a lover of his soul, like you're, things are done easier. You don't have to spend and and work and work and work at something that is just supposed to come so easy and so natural. Yeah. 
And I and I love how he said it's easy. Mm-hmm. Friendship is easy. It's mm-hmm. supposed to be easy. Yeah. I don't know about you, but with my friends, I don't have all these rules, all these boundaries. No. Of, you that can't was, do that'd this. Be horrible. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, you can only see me here. Yeah. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be easy. It's, it's friendship. I love what you said. It's restoration. It's comfort. But it's also like, hey, God, like, what's going on today? Mm-hmm. I love I love just being like that. And it's really coming with like this child weakness too, right? Mm-hmm. And just being like, hey, God, here I am. What, what do you want to say to me today? Mm-hmm. How about we just talk about practically? What is it you're kidding? Because I think a lot of people, we hear that term friendship. Yeah. And I think it scares people sometimes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's it's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be natural. We were built for community. Jesus had disciples. He, he, he mirrored mm-hmm. what it's supposed to look like to be with people in fellowship and in community and growth and not jealousy and not fighting and... Yeah. you know all these things so we can just look at the story of jesus and how he was with the disciples and with the people that he was spending time with to really just understand what's it supposed to look like they had fun i like i believe you know his you so, know peter yeah. and they're going fishing they're having, like they would have been you know and even i was in israel a few years ago and uh, we were sitting on this dock at the sea of galilee and we're just talking me and the girls and we're just like really just like wow the the history that's here you know, I was thinking of that where Jesus is walking on the water and I literally had this chuckle, you know, of like the guys are sitting there sleeping and Jesus comes walking on the water. He's a funny guy yeah. in friendships. We're fun. We it's laugh true. and we have a good time. I believe he would have been like <laughs> as he was walking up to sneak up on them because yeah. he's funny. If we have humor, we're a mirror of him. Yeah. We're a mirror of, of God. So, so he's funny. So, I mean, one thing, like, calm down. People need to just relax. Mm-hmm. He's a good father. He's a loving father and he's fun. People need to just break off that, you know, this work mentality and this this perfection mentality. Yeah. He's not looking for perfection. He's yeah. looking for your heart, submission, and just to have a good time and enjoy him. So good. We don't have to perform for friendship. Even in my own life, there's times where it's like, oh, I need to perform. Mm-hmm. I need to I need to make sure I, I look a certain way and be a certain way. When we, if you have a true friend, they don't care what's going exactly. on in your situation. They just love you for where you're at. Exactly. Now, it doesn't mean you just drain people all the time, right, yeah. and stuff like that, but they understand. Mm-hmm. And I and I think that's even a great point is that God understands us. He understands where we're at. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we think to advance or to yeah. go higher, we need to have it all together or be at a certain point, but he wants us to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I love what you said, Jesus and, <laughs> Jesus and the disciples, when we read the Bible, the mistakes they made, how mm-hmm. about like, oh, when G- James and John, Jesus should be sent fire down from <laughs> heaven and kill these people, right? Yeah. It's like, no, 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 you have it all wrong. Yeah. Why that's important is, I love that because it's like, you have it all wrong and then he teaches them, right? Mm-hmm. He's not mad at them. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just, it's that natural and easy thing. It's, you know, especially when it comes to like friendships in the natural. Yeah. If we have a solid relationship with him first, those those other things come easier yeah. you know if especially when we wake up in the morning and just you give your day to him you know holy spirit i love you i thank you for today and and just what do you want to say to me like that dialogue that you have and again like i believe heaven you know if you just even ask the lord like what's it look like when i wake up i believe heaven's like ee, he's awake she's awake yay i'm so happy lord tell them about their day what are they gonna do it's like partner with that partner with the excitement of heaven because heaven so is behind you heaven is praying for you like so good. think of that yeah that's some serious weight when you know heaven is behind you and god ab- above is sitting there praying for you and it's just a matter of partnering with him so good and i think i get so excited when 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 you say oh like you wake up right, and you have that excitement and even when you said oh i get to talk to whitney today or i get to talk to jill for mm-hmm. me it's like well god wants to share secrets with me yeah and even so in psalms he loves to share secrets mm-hmm. with those he loves i like to use the term like being vertical mm-hmm. you know all day long when you're in friendship you know you call your friends how you doing what so you doing good. right you're you're constantly kind of talking with your friends and and he's the same he's he's right here yeah. so talk to him be vertical with him right with heaven just have that dialogue open all day. I love you. You know, when you're driving, I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day because I'm talking to you. Whatever that looks like, just stay vertical and stay in relationship with him all day long.